Hello, I'm Dr. Valentin Dubliano. I'm a periodontist practicing in Toronto, Ontario. And in this video, I will be discussing an impacted canine exposure procedure. An impacted canine tooth is one that fails to erupt in a normal fashion, or one that only erupts part way into the mouth. Canine teeth are the most common teeth to become impacted following third molars. A canine tooth may become impacted on either the facial or palatal aspect. Palatal impactions are more common. The overall incidence of an impacted canine tooth is about 1%. If left untreated, an impacted canine tooth may cause neighboring teeth to erupt in an unusual fashion. Neighboring teeth may also suffer from root resorption. Infections are a rare occurrence. Surgical exposure followed by orthodontics to bring the previously impacted tooth into proper alignment is the recommended treatment. In many cases, a cone beam CT scan will provide information on the precise location of the impacted tooth, as well as its proximity to neighboring teeth. Impacted canine exposure surgery involves creating a small access point directly over the crown of the hidden tooth and bonding an orthodontic bracket and chain. The chain is attached to a fixed orthodontic appliance or braces. The procedure takes approximately one hour. It may be done with local anesthetic alone or in combination with sedation. Most patients are back to their usual routine two days after having had a canine exposure surgery. The majority of healing takes place during the first two weeks and patients may then resume most of their normal eating and oral hygiene practices. Patients will be seen for a two-week and four-week post-operative check. Thank you.